Bada boom. Hey everyone, it's me, Xcanadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post a new doll related video almost every single day. And in today's video, I am so excited because we are going to be doing an unboxing and review of the LOL Surprise Tweens Haribo doll. I've been really excited about this one ever since just the idea of her leaked. So I'm really, really stoked that she's finally here. And I've had to wait a little while since I got her to actually be able to review her for you guys. So I'm extra, extra excited. And she's just so, so cool. And as a bonus, I picked up one of the LOL Surprise Loves Mini Sweets Haribo tots. So these are just, you know, your standard LOL Surprise dolls. And I generally don't collect these. I have quite a few. I enjoy them, but I specifically really like the tweens and the OMG dolls. But I thought I would pick up one of these because I thought the designs that were showing on the packaging were super, super cute. So let's start here. So it's been a minute since I've opened one of these. Oh my God, that went so well. I'm not used to it going that well. That was fantastic. Okay. <laughs> um, and these came out around the same time. So if you find one, hopefully you'll be able to find the other. I actually haven't been to too many stores in a minute. So I'm not really sure how well these are staying on store shelves. They're so, so cute though. Like it's such a, it's such a good idea. There's just something about like the corporate sponsorship in doll form that just works for me. Any other situation, I'm like, Ugh, yuck. But with the dolls, I'm like, oh my God, that's so cute. I need it. I don't know. Um, okay, so the surprise ball we got is gold, and if we pop it open, we get to our surprises. So I think because I just don't know what all the dolls look like, I'm going to open the surprises first, and then we'll get to the dolls. So starting off, oh, this is a good start because I think it's going to tell us our flavor. <gasps> okay, so this won't be gummy bears then. So this is Haribo Sour Streamers. So like those little sour belts, I guess. Uh, I've actually never had these from Haribo specifically, but this is super cute. It's like a little drawstring bag, and are these actually... Str They're not string, but they really feel like it. Like, they textured that really well, um, and it's super, super pliable, and this is a really fantastic piece. I love that it's actually see-through, so you can see in there. Super cool. Okay, next. We have the outfit. So this one's definitely Sour Streamers themed. It's a little dress that says Zing. It's kind of horrifying. Um, it's funny because Haribo's like so successful with gummy bears, but I haven't heard of these other candies. Have you guys? Okay. Then we have, oh my god, the shoes are so cute. These little rainbow gladiator sandals. And then the last thing, I guess a headpiece maybe? Probably sunglasses. Oh, duh. I forgot they all come with these. They come with little sippy cups. So this is the Sour Belt sippy cup. What kind of unholy concoction do you think would be inside of the sippy cup? Like, I don't want to know. Um, and as you can see, it's got that kind of pixelated printing on it, which I love seeing this used in accessories. So like, I'm glad to see MGA doing it. If it goes to the doll's faces, I have problems with it. But if it's on the accessories, I actually think it looks really good. Okay, so everything's really, really well themed here. And now we know what our doll's gonna be. So let's check that out. <gasps> oh, is she a good one? I had failed to realize that they would probably do this for certain ones. She has like the sugar or glitter in her hair. <gasps> Oh, she's cool. I mean, to be fair, like, oftentimes the rare ones are not my favorite ones. Like, I end up really, really loving one of the random commons. But I'm pretty sure having the glitter hair means it's, like, one of the good pulls. It means you got one of the rares. But I'm not sure. We've got our new doll all dressed up. And this is what she looks like. Definitely not my favorite outfit-wise. But I think the base doll is extremely, extremely cute. And these shoes absolutely rock. They keep trying to come off, though. Because um, they're a little bit warped from the packaging. I love the bag. I love, love, love the bag. These are so cute. It's just so silly and fun, but the it's it's less like creative ways to bring in the brand here and more like, yeah, that's the brand, like that's the logo and everything. But to be fair, they're subject to all the licensing agreements and stuff with these. So I imagine that has something to do with it. Also, um, back to the plastic ball here. I don't like these because yeah, it's like a stand for the doll kind of, but this is enormous and like, I don't know. I, I wish they'd go back to those paper balls that I think the first mini sweets had those. I don't remember. There was a certain series that I bought quite a few from that had paper balls and I liked that a lot more. All right, now let's check out the rest of the collection to see if I'm gonna have to get, get into these. Okay, so it looks like Star is rare. So we got a regular rare. Uh, Miss Watermelon's the one that I saw in the packaging that I thought was really interesting. I just really liked the hair. We've got Rotella, I guess that's licorice. Is Haribo more popular in other countries or something? Because I've never heard of half of these. Love this one with the inner tube. And then we've got Miss Pico for Pico Bala. We've got Berry Beauty, Missy Mallow. That one's really fantastic too. Miss Licorice. 
and Miss Alphabet. And then, yeah, so that's all of them. Um, this is a very cute set. It's just that I'm not familiar with anything Haribo except I've heard of these and the gummy bears. And of course, all of these are candies that exist in other forms too. This is kind of interesting that the only one that seems to actually be gummy bear themed, which is Haribo's bread and butter, is this one the tween doll but that's actually really interesting so i super super like that one i think that's the best one um so who's the ultra rare here licorice boy is the ultra rare cool and this alphabet's kind of interesting too all right maybe maybe this will work on me maybe i'll have to try some haribo stuff and then i'm imagining that this is a spitting one because i don't see oh i think it's a p one but don't they all do that i don't know i don't know Somebody corrected me and said that they all do the same thing now at one point, so I just don't know. Anyway, now it's time to get to the doll herself. So I'm really excited about this one. I think she's so cute. So I'm not actually sure if she has a name. <gasps> Who is that? So she's not in the set. Okay, so I think her name's Holly Happy. So, oh my god, the artwork is so amazing. It says, Holly Happy is in between sweet and sour Bold is her favorite color, and Haribo is her favorite candy. Okay. Clearly Haribo gummy bears, but... Um, yeah, there's that little stinker. Oh my god, she's so cute. Anyway, if you're looking for her, I got her at Target, and this is the barcode if you want to, like, scan it or whatever. And she's really cute, but the sibling is, like, really, really precious. Oh my god. I love the little bear ears. There must I think there was a multi-pack. I think I saw a multi-pack at Target. Anyway... Let's get her out of the box. Holly Happy is out of the packaging, and this is what she looks like. Also, I just noticed she has heterochromia, so that is pretty cute. Also, I am so sorry if there's some kind of unboxing gimmick. It seems there is, because there's perforation here. I think you were supposed to do something here. But everything just fell out of the back instantly, so my bad. Like, I don't really know how I was supposed to do that. Here's our doll. We have some surprises, which is exciting. I feel like it's been a while since we've had, like, wrapped up surprises with the tween dolls. Although I didn't open Series 3 on camera, right? Anyway, so this is her little composition book, of course. It's not a little surprise tweens, they all have one. So hers has little Haribo gummy bears and a little like star and some hearts. And then if we open it up, it says Holly Happy. And her little this or that section says she prefers gold bears to lollipops. She prefers singing out loud to humming to herself. And she prefers rainbow to matching. I feel like you can match rainbow. Feel like you can. And Amaya from Rainbow High does not understand how to do that. <laughs> uh, nor does Jet Dawson. Okay. And you can see that it's like a little collab there. Then she came with a comb. It's just a little yellow one. Her stand is gold, so it's a different color than the comb. As you can see, she did come with a stand. She comes with two little stand clips, one she's currently using in this one. And then there's actually a spot in the stand area that you can actually store that, which I really like. I really appreciate that they do that. She comes with this little instruction booklet that just basically tells you how to put together the stand and general things you need to know about your doll. Cool beans. Sorry, I couldn't figure out how to open it for a second there. Um, also telling me about how to use... Oh, I guess there's a hat. <laughs> okay, so here's the hat, I guess. I was like, what is that depicting? Oh, how cute is that? Okay, so she comes with a hair... Did I just... I'm unobserving because that's on the packaging. Okay, she comes with this little bucket hat and it's see-through with gold ears and says Haribo on it. And as you can see, it's got this crazy contraption because you're supposed to wrap it around her pigtails, basically. This is extremely cute. And the wrapping paper, the tissue paper, I guess. Oh, there was something else. There were also sunglasses, which are also on the packaging. I remember those. It's little gummy bears on the tissue paper. I love the yellow surprise tissue paper. I stopped keeping it because I was like, that's like, I don't need it. Like, I'm not ever going to use it. It's been, so I'm not keeping that, but it's pretty cute. That's a pretty special one. And then I love this. I wish that this was one of those fabric garment bags they used to do. I love those so much, but I understand why they stopped doing them. Most people were probably throwing them away, but it's paper. So it's good because you can recycle it easily, as you can see. Um, but it's super cute. Okay, so let's see what's in here. I actually have no idea. Oh, oh my god, her little gummy bear bag. So she has the yellow gummy bear bag, and it looked like her little sister, her daughter, had the red gummy bear bag, if I recall correctly, but it's probably a lot smaller. But how stinking cute is that? All right, I'm going to, or no, let's start the review before we put the accessories on so that I can show you the hair really fast, and then we'll put the accessories on and do the rest of the review. So starting off, as always, on the actual doll, we'll start off by looking at her face. So, as I mentioned earlier, she has heterochromia, meaning she she has two different eye colors. She's got this green here and this blue here. 
Both are very bright, bold eye colors for LOL, and I love the way they did her makeup. So each color is its own separate piece that very much looks brushed on separately. So you have orange at the furthest corner, then you have red, green, yellow, and I like that it's an out of order rainbow too. I think that looks really cool. And then her bottom lashes are much larger than usual because she has these gold outlines on each of them. She also has some pretty intense blushing, although this does vary between dolls sometimes, so I don't know if that's going to be on all of them. And she has a lot of top lashes. I feel like the LOL Surprise Tweens don't often have a lot of those. And a super bright red lip, which I think matches perfectly with this look. And I love the eyebrow shape they gave her as well. I really like when they just have the like straight, kind of almost fierce eyebrows. I think they're super cute. And then her hair color is so, so cute. So as you can see, her hair is thatched in the middle. So she has a middle part line and she has a bunch of different colors going on. So I'm seeing like a chartreuse, a light pink, a magenta, a blue. There's that light pink chartreuse again. So that looks like the colors that we're working with. And as you can see in the front, you have all the different colors represented. You can see them in stripes. And then if you look, on, is that... That was the light pink. Okay, I thought there was an orange. On the back, it's all that blue color. And if we look through to the scalp, you can see that it's all that blue color all over. It's just that in the part line and here you get those other colors. But I think they do a great job like showing the other colors in the hairstyle. I feel like the blue doesn't really show up as the prominent color, even though it is the prominent color. Unfortunately, she does have like an intense amount of that hair gel in it to the point that it almost doesn't feel like hair or it just doesn't feel like hair. Like listen to that but the rest of the hair I can feel it it's extremely soft nylon hair as usual with a little surprise absolutely love it and yeah this is something to look out for that I wasn't looking out for I was specifically looking at the face pay attention to the hairline because you'll see that because there's so many different colors and because the different colors are rooted on the hairline you might have some unevenness here and if that would bother you make sure you pay attention and get this doll in stores okay last thing for the face before we move on she has these little earrings that have separate little bags of haribo gummy bears on them and otherwise it's just a little gold hook or a gold post with a gold hook and you can remove the little gummy bear bags if you so desire to do so and i love when they do accessories like this because they just just the fact that they're a separate piece really adds to the realism and the play value of a doll, and I think it's so much fun. Okay, now I will be putting on her other accessories, which are the golden sunglasses with the gummy bear ears on them, and you can see that there's a slight blue tinge to them on the lenses. And then you've got the gold ears here, because I guess they're called gold bears? I guess, is that what the gummy bears are called, or is this a specific one? I don't know. Uh, and as you can see, there's little snaps so you can put them over the pigtails but you could also just not have the pigtails considered by doing the snaps and i guess it would fit the head normally so yeah and it's just got the haribo logo pretty simple but extremely cute i really like this piece here is holly happy with the bucket hat and sunglasses on i really like it it's so cute and it actually closed over the pigtails which i wasn't expecting so as you can see you can actually get those to snap but if even if you don't snap them it fits just fine like it looks great and she's so cute i love the sunglasses too i think the sunglasses are great they don't impede how cool her eyes look at all they do kind of block the really cool eye makeup but not really and i like that she can actually wear them with the hat too i wasn't expecting that even though it shows on the packaging, I was thinking they would really interfere with each other and cause issues, but they're really not. The only thing I will say is that she doesn't have any kind of bangs, and this is a super see-through piece, so it kind of makes her hairline look odd through the hat, if that makes any sense to you. But it's not really bothering me. It just, the way that the hat is, like, distorting it because of this piece is kind of strange in person. Anyway, moving on from there, let's take a look at her outfit. So the thing that I noticed immediately when I was holding her when I first brought her home was that she had these little gummy bears hanging from her belt. And I always thought like, you know how at Claire's they'll have like gummy bear jewelry and stuff and they've had it for the past like 10 years. When I was younger, those became a trend when I was in like middle school, I think maybe high school. And I thought they were so cute, just gummy bear jewelry. So I was really excited to see this because I never had any. And I just think that's so cute on her and it looks so good and it's so well done. They really look like little gummy bears. None of the details are really lost. So you get a red, an orange, a yellow and a green gummy bear there. It's 
so precious so so precious okay sorry for starting there but i thought it would be a good, good idea because now we can remove it and you can see like each layer of the outfit that's how we're going to kind of work through here so it's on a gold chain piece again because i think they're going with this gold bears theme and there's little rings to hold them in place and then for some reason it feels kind of loose i think it's supposed to drape a little bit more but it kind of is fitting weird but also because there's a lot of layers of this outfit we have removed the belt it's actually a bit tricky to get this on and off like see but super super cute and the gummy bears can come off pretty easily so i'd be careful with that if you like to bring your doll places for photography or just to carry around that could be an issue one fell off when i was taking it off but they do stay on pretty well overall all right now for the outfit so this outfit is extremely cute i always love this even though it's semi-unrealistic i love when there's this like see-through plasticky material on dolls i just think it's so much fun this like raincoat material and they really did a good job with it here so she has a coat made of it and a skirt made of it and then it seems like she has some kind of one piece underneath here so i also love having it paired with fur because again it's kind of a material specifically reserved for rain wear and obviously you wouldn't want to wear fur in the rain but i think the juxtaposition of stuff like that is just so cute and i love the decorative stitching on this like lol surprise specifically all of their fabric accessories always blow me out of the water like this is just so cool they even did you don't really need to do a lock stitch like this or not a lock stitch but like a stitch to i would call this like a protective stitch to keep anything from fraying because this is plastic it's not going to happen but they did that to make it look more like a garment and i just really appreciate that they did that they did the decorative stitching here to make this look like a pocket they even added little buttons all over it's just so so nice and so detailed and on the back you can see the fur goes all the way around it it is a little fur collar as you can see there's that stitch again our little i would call that decorative at that point because it's not a construction stitch at all and then she also of course has fur around the wrists and the jacket easily comes off but you can also remove the the hands from the wrist if you need to to help you take the jacket off and put it back on she has yellow painted nails and they're pointy so so tiny so cute she doesn't have any of the new hand shapes that the newest LOL surprise series had I was kind of like hoping she would but it's okay so so precious and here you can see if you're not familiar with the LOL surprise tweens they actually have like an amazing amount of articulation especially for the scale that they're at and it's a bit of that red fur kind of shed it on her so i apologize about that and then she has this skirt i do believe that's a separate piece but we'll see and again you see this is decorative decorative it's supposed to be like the protective stitch but it's not really needed and you can see it here too and they've used blue thread here red thread here forgot to point that out here but it's all red thread on this one and you've got green red blue and orange there and then on the skirt you've got blue as the waistband you've got red here yellow here and that's it it's got velcro to close it. and it is actually a separate piece and i love the way they gathered it where the fabric actually comes up over here i just think that adds like an extra interesting three-dimensional bit it's just really cute i really like this okay now we can see her little one piece and oh my gosh i was not expecting this but it's got little cutouts sorry i was totally not showing you that her little what do you call these like a romper i don't know uh it's got little cutouts at the sides which is super super cute and i couldn't really tell from before i guess if i had looked closer i probably would have been able to and it's gummy bear shapes in red yellow orange purple and blue this is so nice with the white backdrop and then there's the back all right now we have a few more pieces to go we've got the shoes and the socks which oh my god they're so cute so again the gold bear here you've got the bear shape here with the laces and it looks like just a regular bow there and the gold detailing is just really well done i'm not seeing any paint out of place on mine which is something that i accept with tiny accessories like shoes and stuff i'm not really going to be too devastated about that but i appreciate when the paint is perfectly placed that is awesome and then it looks like her socks aren't true socks because you can see her toes through there which i totally respect that because it can be really difficult to put the shoes on when they are full socks because of the bulk that it adds and you can see the little foot hole in there is quite small I always wonder why they don't just sculpt the shoe with socks in mind, but then I guess you wouldn't be able to do the fashion play where you switch it to other dolls. And yeah, as you can see, her sock is a blue and yellow striped sock with a pink top piece. I never know what to call it. Leg hole. And it's basically just a leg warmer, but I believe it's supposed to look like a sock. And that color, or these colors, the yellow and the blue here specifically, kind of come out of nowhere until you look into the hair. Because in the hair, you have that chartreuse color that's relatively similar 
And I mean, is there a yellow too? The chartreuse comes off yellow. I don't know. Maybe it's just a neon yellow and I'm getting fooled by the blue behind it. But the blue and the yellow on the socks match with the ones in the hair. Okay, so now it's time for our final thoughts. All right, my friends, that is it for this video. Now it's time for my final thoughts. I am really impressed with this one. I am especially impressed that there is some kind of licensing agreement where I assume MGA is paying. I don't know if this would be a mutually beneficial partnership where neither of them pays each other and they're just using each other's names for notoriety or what the deal would be, but I imagine there's some kind of fee for using the license. So I really appreciate that this doll doesn't feel any less good than the other LOL Surprise Tweens that retail for about $20. This doll was, I think, $21.99, somewhere in that range. And she's really fantastic. Her accessories are really, really nice. She comes with tons of new sculpts that I imagine they're not going to be allowed to use anywhere else because they were made for the Haribo collab, you know, so you can't use this again. You can't use the shoes again, the sunglasses again, the hat again. Again, I don't know the full licensing agreements, but I imagine that's so. Oh, and maybe those, I guess you could probably get away with those at some, t at some point again. Um, I think that's really cool. I'm, I'm just loving her. I think she's awesome. The original sculpts really are awesome. The different colors in her hair I know cost a lot extra to do, especially when it's just a little amount like that, and I think that's super cool. And just all the accessories are fun. I don't feel like any expense was spared. I feel like she really captures exactly what they were going for in the design, which is always very, very exciting because, you know, corners will be cut sometimes to get it to the budget, and I'm fine with that. But that is exactly the doll I see in the photo, you know? Or not the photo, but the... The design drawing and i think that's really really awesome and i really love that they did this i'm not the biggest like haribo fan or anything i prefer gummy worms to gummy bears to be honest with you but i like gummy bears i've had those before there's other brands of gummy bears that i prefer but like just seeing like a familiar brand really seeing the way the designers interpret and create fashion based on that brand is just so so much fun and with this one like yeah i don't know anything about these but I know what sour belts are and the hair just being like sour belts is so much fun and you can see the little lightning bolts because it's called zing and there's just so many cute little elements and I know the lol surprise dolls are like probably a bit less involved to actually design because you don't have to worry about the fabric clothing and stuff and generally it's like a one or two piece here like it's pretty simple but I really appreciate that they all come off so unique and fun also I like that these two kind of display well together because I got two rainbow themed ones these are just really fun. I think this is super cool, and I hope that this opens the door for others to be like this. I personally prefer the LOS Prize Tweens line to the OMG line, and I know a lot of people have been saying, like, because of this doll, oh my god, I hope they do OMGs of these, like, random corporate sponsorship things. Yes, that would be really awesome, and I would love it, but, like... If they stay in the LOL Surprise Tweens realm, that's fine, because I love them. The, the BTWs are my absolute favorites in the LOL, like, franchise... Just, this is the family of doll that I think is the cutest. They just come off really nicely. I love the faces. The size of the dolls is just very fun. They're very portable, fun to play with. I, I find them to be so, 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 so much fun. Although, the price with the... I think the $20 price point is fair when you compare it to most other things on the market. But when you compare it directly to the LOL Surprise OMG dolls, which I think are at a $26.99 price point now, something like that. It's a little close considering how amazing LOL Surprise doll... Or, Oh my god, there's so many tongue twisters here. When you consider how amazing OMGs are, um, and you compare them directly like that, I don't know. Uh, but for me, I love her. I know that's not saying much because I love every doll, but I think that they did a fantastic job on this one. And I just think that the LOL Surprise designers truly have so many fun and interesting ideas and really know how to make a doll. So I'm always excited when I get to review one. I I, I fully bought this. Like, what, I get to review the product that I bought. But, you know, when I... I, when I review them. It's very fun for me. And it was also fun to unbox this one. But let me know if you prefer, if I do like these in a separate video and you'd prefer like the doll to stand alone. I will be putting like the little timestamp so that you guys don't have to watch this part if you don't want to. But I don't know, I wouldn't want to like deter you if you just don't want to see these ones. I understand. But I've noticed that a lot of people really on my channel really like these guys too. So hopefully that's not a big deal to you. Uh, but anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know what brand say that they've worked with or that they haven't worked with that you would want to see a collab doll of next. I would really like to see those monster cereals. I know that's past at this point because they're not coming out with Halloween dolls right now. I mean, they would have already come out with them if they were, but I would have loved to see the monster cereals, like a little three pack or something, or I guess they introduce a new character every year. So it'd be a four pack, not every year, but every now and then, uh, but just like the iconic three monster cereals characters, which they have done. 
in tots form i would love to see those as a tweens pack they would be so precious or just do count Dracula because he's the most iconic one but frankenberry is my favorite cereal though anyway that's it thank you guys so so much for watching for all this time bye